And I, I like this choice of song uh, as an intro, but it's a uh, it's a difficult one to interrupt. I'll tell you that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm ready to start, but the bass solo just started, and I don't want to cut off the bass player. It's a sick bass solo, so I'll let the bass solo play out, and then like another solo starts right after, and I'm like, okay, we'll let this one play too. Why not? And then and then no, there's just it solos all the way down, man. I'm gonna have to interrupt the song eventually, so here we are. Um, having a bit of a weird day. Dude, ah! I was doing something in my garage, and I had the, the big garage door open, and the other door goes to the outside, and uh, I was going to shut the other door, and it swung shut, like, at mock speed, right on my middle finger on my right hand. And I hope I didn't break my finger? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I should be able to hold a controller, though. I I've been icing it. Um, but I was like, you know what? I won't let this stop me. I, I want to stream today. Uh, so, so we're going to stream. We're playing Isaac. We're going to do the funny challenge. Um, for those of you who don't know, which is probably all of you, uh, this game has a challenge where you... Basically, it's as if there are glitches, um... And the game just freaks out, and it randomizes items and does all this crazy stuff. Um, and for a game that's already insane, it's just crazier. And it's all the way down here, the bottom of the challenge list. We go through all of these. This one that's off the bottom of the list. Oh, it, it's going to be crazy. Um, it will affect gameplay, I promise you. And let's just get right into it. Mom? Question mark? And you'll see that the ground looks really weird to start. This is like a much later floor that we see. Um, but this is the regular basement enemies and stuff. It's just everything looks kind of wrong. And uh, we'll see when we get the first couple items. Also, you'll notice that the music is just not working for some reason. Because, um, I don't know, glitchier that way, I guess. It sounds The game sounds eerie without the music. Oh, these are kind of like violent looking... Uh, walls as well for the first floor. 
You usually don't see these for a while. An omen of things to come? I hope not. Um, but perhaps. We'll just fight the boss. Why not? This is a boss I've fought many times before. Not too hard. Um, but you'll see what I mean uh, when we get the item from the boss here. Um, it's a little bit... A little bit crazy. Um, even the sprites are like a mix of a bunch of the uh, other item sprites, and the names are all ridiculous. Um, some of the funniest clips I've seen of other content creators of this game have been from this challenge. Um, sometimes the trophy can just spawn uh, for no reason. Like an, an item can just give you the trophy, and then suddenly the challenge is over, you just win. And other times an item can just set your health to zero, so you're dead. Um, but it's all the, the funny stuff in between. Um, the sad reality is that when you randomize all the effects of items in this game, you kind of realize how many of them are simply, uh, farts. <laughs> so. Uh, it looks like the first item we got just gave us luck, and now we glow a little bit. So may maybe that's some kind of other stat bonus, I don't know. We're just gonna keep picking up items and crazy stuff is gonna ensue. But it is a little slow of a start, this challenge, I will say. Looks like we do have to do the big room before we find the item room. Yep, there's our first fart item. It really is so many of the items in the game. But, nonetheless, we will prevail. Farts are, are an inevitable in this game, I guess. Um, I don't know. God, I was really hoping that the music would fix itself, but no. Maybe I can check the options menu, did I? Like, no, I do have it on. Oh. That's a little weird. Okay, well now we have music. <laughs> Lots of farts, yeah dude. I promise that's not the sole reason that I like this game. Or, not that it's not even really a reason at all. It just is. So yeah, I see part of the D6 here. It says Attic Tears. I guess my... <laughs> do you take any damage into you? Uh, they're my farts, so enemies can fart on me, and I take damage. Oh. No direct effect from that item. So, I mean, who really knows? Yeah, but I, I don't take damage from walking into my own farts, which is, I guess, some small um, justice that the game grants you. I think this is probably a secret room, so we'll use one bomb. Oh, two bombs, so there we go. That's an effect of an item. This is a pretty good second secret room to find here. Um, it gives you the ability to blow up the stone chests, which is nice. You usually need to use a bomb for that, but these TNT barrels help you out. And the, the red fires you do have to look out for in this room, that's why I cleared those first. Um, they can shoot at you. And yeah, I have no idea what this is. Air of Fume F. This one is a spacebar item, or, or an active item, I guess, would be the more accurate way to call it. I am using a controller. Funny, we actually see a basement uh, room layout there. Uh, we've already fought the boss, so we'll find out what this item does on the next floor. It does, um... Oh my god, the music is so loud. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I don't know what mod I have that's messing that up and making the music so loud. That was really loud in my ears. Um, it, it's probably got something to do with the challenge, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it gives me a little bit of luck and... What is that? Shot speed? When I use it? What I was saying is, uh, it's one room charge uh, to use this item. Oh, a black heart from a fire? That's weird. Okay. That does not usually happen. Uh... So I'm sure one of the items I took affects that. And we'll take Petrified Poop. Gives us more stuff from poops. Uh, so see that penny is probably a result of picking a Petrified Poop there in our trinket slot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll use this uh, item every room and see if it does anything different. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, so that was our fart there. It, it damaged the enemy, but not us. Which, I mean, you like to see it, I guess. Tear. Okay, that did something to my health, I think. Um, still have base damage, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, yeah, that item doesn't seem to do anything. That was a little tiny fart. That's funny. No idea what's causing that. Um, the descriptions are not very well descriptive at all, I guess. Um, and I forgot shop items are like a no-go completely because they cost a random amount between 1 and 99 cents. And so, usually you only have to pay 15 cents for a shop item, so that pretty much makes shop items completely un- uh, you purchasable. Because the game is just not balanced around getting that much money. Oh! Okay, killing that enemy spawned, uh, friend for us here, a little Gertie. Uh, that's weird, but sure. And I think that battery drop is also probably the result of, uh, one of these items, but I don't know. Let's see what we get from the boss. I'm hoping for some more bombastic effects on some of the random items here. Because they don't really seem to do a whole lot, the ones I picked up. You can see some really ridiculous stuff. Uh, the result of a lot of these runs is just that you kind of die in a ridiculous way. Like, you get some an item that makes you uh, like take damage every five seconds, and then you just eventually die. Or you get something that, um, like, spawns an enemy every time you, like, shoot a tear. And if that happens, you're just done. Um, uh, you're pretty much completely gone at that point. This Ragman is taking a long time to fight, probably because I'm focusing more on talking than fighting the boss. I, I don't know if using this item multiple times does anything. Uh, Octector Protect. I don't know what that did. I don't think I want to take devil deals, just because the items are random anyway. So, like... Uh, I'd rather get them for free from the angel deals. So ignoring the devil deal means we'll start to get chances for angel deals on future floors. I think, since I have so much health, we gotta do the curse room. I don't think it's gonna be worth it to go into the red challenge room, because you have to be on one heart to go in there. So I would have to take a lot of damage to do that. Uh, this room will just pay for itself, I guess, which is fine. Oh, we peed that time <laughs> when I used the item. Okay, interesting. The effects are not always the same. Sure, uh, let's just get out of this floor. Let's go. That was weird. Not sure why it did a different thing that time. Let's just go right in this curse room. We see a whole bunch of red fires. That's no good. These shoot at us. Uh, only Notably, they can only shoot at you once each, uh, and then no more. So you could just walk in circles and eventually they would all expend. Oh, we get two options to teleport out. Um, since I have five keys, I think I'll take the Emperor. Uh, and we can just use a key to go into the shop. I just threw a Pokeball, but there was nothing there to catch, so... I, um... Did not... Uh, nab anything. Let's see if it happens again. I think we've got some form of like randomized effect here. I'll just keep using it and eventually something good, like potentially very bad will happen and it will be funny. There we go. We got a fart to clear out all the ads. That's nice. Take another bomb. Oh, didn't mean to take more damage there. What even is that name? That item name? I have no idea. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know what it did. But uh, teleporting out of the cursed room there made it so that we take one less damage. Oh, we fired a laser there. <laughs> I was firing my laser. Um, I, I guess I should be prepared to try to hit enemies with whatever effect I get off this item. It's probably like a random pool of... Um, oh, that part damaged me, though. Now there are enemy enemies are farting on me too. We have a little demon guy now too. That's fun. I like that. Uh, I think Gello is in it. Yeah. Now enemies are farting farts that hurt me, so I need to stay away from them. That is good to know. Oh wow, taking a lot of damage. Or is it just playing the hurt? It's just playing the hurt sound. What man? This challenge messes with my head, dude. I was like, I'm taking damage, because I heard the sound, and then I looked up at my health, and it was exactly what I thought it was at the start of this room, and I was like, what? I'm not actually taking damage, it's just playing the sound that I took damage. Okay, well, there's a trinket that has this effect. Um, 
Anytime you would use a key, instead now you have to clear a room. A blue room. Yeah, that fart didn't actually hit me. It just... Uh, plays the sound that it hit me. Thanks, game. That's funny. Good joke. And it happens even if I'm not in, in like, the radius of the fart, too, I think. Oh, that did actually hit me, though. I didn't know those guys fired explosives. Good to know. Because my damage is so low, it's taking me forever to clear this room. Okay, finally, the item room. Those guys actually stop targeting you if you use uh, your charge. Oh? That gave us a huge tears up. Well, maybe not huge. That gave us a tears up and it made us tiny. That's pretty funny. Okay, so we're a little guy now. It doesn't actually reduce our hitbox size. We're just... We appear smaller on the screen. For some reason. <laughs> this game is... I was like, man, I don't know what I want to play. What'll be easy to talk about today. And just play. I hurt my finger, so I was like, I don't think I should be playing TF2. Try to, like, right-click on my mouse it would hurt, because it's my right uh, middle finger. That hit sound is going to really start messing with my head. I'm just going to have to check my health every single time I hear it. A little annoying. Spawned a penny there. Oh, picking up the penny turned them all into boils. That's interesting. So, because a lot of the game's effects um, are, like, stuff that happens on... Um, on pickup of items, uh, a lot of these random effects are going to have that as well. Have that trigger them, I guess, rather. So sometimes you don't even really notice uh, what's happening. Oh, that's fun. This is the, the shears effect, I guess, which just our body cuts off and goes and does damage. Oh, it is really hard to kind of tell where my character is now that there's all those Gerties following me around, too. Oh, yep. Picking up a card. Turns all the enemies in the room to boils. P pick, probably picking anything up. Oh, uh-oh. I don't know what spawned that guy. I don't like that. Oh? Okay. And now all of the other pickups got turned into... Uh, stuff as well. This is... Here we go. Glitches. I, I don't even understand what's going on anymore. I guess I'll use the Book of the Dead uh, card? Just this. Oh, all of that stuff turned into boils too? Okay, sure. That's fine. Uh, planetarium. I have to clear another one of these bastard blue rooms though. Oh, okay. Interesting. This is kind of a catch all spacebar item. It can do anything, which is usually nothing, but sometimes that, I guess. Ultimate Grand. Hell yeah. I really wish it didn't play a hit sound every time. Um, just. I hit an enemy sometimes, or I kill an enemy. Ugh. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Whoopsie. Okay, just gonna teleport out of there. There's probably a secret room around here somewhere, but I just wasted my last bomb. Uh, because I hit- pressed the wrong button, because I am very intelligent. Uh, what was that, like... Jar of Tears or something? Isaac's Tears? Didn't get hit again. That's fine. I would go into the menus, the mod menu. I have, um... Oh, right. I can just turn anything... I can turn it all into boils if I want. That's... funny. Um... I have a mod installed that makes the hit sound... Uh... That plays when you get hit... Into, like, the funny bonk sound effect from all the, like, dumb meme videos. Um... It just can get hard to hear sometimes. But if... Also, I would go and turn it on. But... Um... It would probably crash the game uh, to do that while I'm playing this challenge, so... I mean, we get extra drops and we don't have to use keys, so that effect I don't hate. 16 cent item I can actually afford. Sure. I'm not sure why that exploded, but okay, and I'll take the soul heart. G oh, give me that, sure. Oh, what? Okay, here we go. This is another spacebar item, what does it do? Oh, hi bombs. Okay. Hmm. I'll keep using keys if it wants to keep spawning uh, these chests. Anytime I pick up an item now, it spawns another one of these chests. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of keys fast. There's definitely, like, game break potential here, but I don't... Uh... 
Yeah, and these are the, the chests that respawn too. Okay, I don't... Sure, I'll take more items. Why not? That gave me more health, which is cool. I'm still de dealing base damage, which is sad. Uh, the guys that follow me, they're spawning from one of the items I got kind of early on. The little Gertie guys. It was either the space bar item that I had, this guy, or it was um, one of the passive items that I picked up. I honestly don't know. Let's use the space bar item again. I don't know what it did. Uh, tears up is nice. Uh, looks like the tears up didn't go away. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can test that again. Yeah, I'm never going to have keys again, but it doesn't even matter because I can enter key rooms for free. So, like, whatever. I'm not upset about it. Caves too, but it looks like the dark room. Very funny. At least the music is not, like, super loud in my ears. We also slow the enemies down. All those bombs and the tinted rock prevails, huh? Oh, God. Oh, I... Why did I blow that up? I... Oh, hi. There's all these guys over here. Come on, fart and kill each other. There we go. Wow, I guess all I had to do was ask, again. If there's one lesson I've learned from this short time I've been streaming, it's just ask for something, and whatever game I'm playing likes to deliver. I was playing a little bit of Nuclear Throne the other day, and that game was really fun. Ooh, a key. I'll try to hang onto this key and not open one of these silly chests. Uh, it is hard when they spawn uh, whenever I do anything. It is cool that those chests can give me items, though. That's pretty funny. I just need more stuff that gives me damage. That's what I need. Right now. Pin room. Uh, those little enemies aren't actually called pin, but there's a boss called pin that they kind of are like, Oh, we're not as small anymore, because I got one makes you larger. Funny. And Balls of Steel, which uh, usually gives you two soul hearts, but, um, well, I'm at full health, so it didn't do anything. I really thought I got hit by that bomb fly. Nope. Maybe I'm invulnerable? No, I can get hit. It just likes to make the hit sound erroneously for no reason. Okay. I hope these rooms don't get harder each time I use this. I wouldn't like that. Alright, Gertie. Do something for me, would you? It's cool that these rooms drop items, too. I gotta snatch the key and then run away before you accidentally pick up the item. Or open the chest, rather. Don't know what that did. It made a funny noise, though. So I'm glad I picked it up. I keep thinking I'm gonna have to walk through those blue rooms again, but you don't. It's like an invisible room. Just littering the floor with these ghost chests, or... No, they're not ghost chests. The, I don't know what they're called. Angel chests? Oh, no! Okay, yeah, so something is now spawning spiders. A bunch of spiders. And they're bomb spiders, too. That's gonna be bad for my health. Quite quickly. I'll keep getting bigger. We're gonna get back to our original size, baby. Let's do it. And a power pill to take us out of the room. I'll take that, sure. Uh, this room is not too bad. Unless they all turn into bomb uh, spiders, and then I'll be sad. Okay, did I actually get hit that time? I don't know. Oh, I keep wanting to open that chest. Don't do it. Just want to find the boss here. So we can move on. Can't get to those chests because there's a, a gap that I can't pass through. Right, bombs. Bombs are good on this room. Oh, we get a cracked key, huh? That's pretty fun. Now is the game of guessing. Oh, I love the flat file. This takes all the spikes away. The flat file is very nice. Uh, the red key gives us the game of guessing where the ultra secret room is, which is a red room outside the map. Um, I'm not usually very good at finding it, but it's like diagonal to a special room, I think, or something like that. And if it can be diagonal to two special rooms, then it really likes to be in that spot. So it could be like here. When you when you open the room next to it, 
it would unlock. So it could be above this room. No, I don't think it could be off that red room, actually. So, so we know it's not that one. I don't know if what I'm saying makes any sense or if it's just like hieroglyphics, man. Oh, this is a bad spot. Okay, we're fine. How did I get full health again? I don't know, man. Haven't seen an angel do yet, so we're pretty likely to this floor. 77 cent item. Um, there's no way I'm getting the money for that, but I'll take a red card. Uh, okay. I can just leave the room. Judgment. Oh, that spawns a restart machine. Oops. Well, I wasted that, huh? Where's my cracked key? No, did my cracked key get turned into it? My cracked key. It's gone. It got turned into something by the the silly challenge. Okay, well, so much for that. I'll keep the flap file, because I like not having spikes anywhere. Funny thing is, it does take spikes out of self sacrifice rooms. I know, my cracked key! My precious cracked key. I, I was actually trying to have like an educational moment too, where I was gonna hopefully find the ultra secret room. Oh, and my boss items now cost health? Sure. Uh, I'll take that. Um, and this is an angel item with one of the devil item sprites smack in the middle of it? That's pretty funny. I don't know what any of this does. Hopefully some of it gives me like tear effects or more damage or something. I'll fight an angel to see. Oh? I'm throwing erasers a lot. Okay. Here we go. Some really weird stuff is starting to happen. And I'm just walking into damage because I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Can I erase you? That would be funny. The eraser actually removes an enemy from the game for the rest of the run. Oh, but you can only use it once per floor. If we have an effect that just throws those around, that would be really funny. I would, I would like that very much. See, I can just walk into the curse room for free. Thank you, flat file. Oh, and here we are at the devil room. I think because I paid for that um, boss room item with uh, with health, uh, we're now stuck in the devil room. We have to pay, so I'll take it. Uh oh, was that real damage or not? I don't know. It it made my damage go up by three. Whatever just happened, so that's cool. I like that. One of the effects of this challenge is I can never tell what floor I'm on. This is the depths one. Okay. Oh, did I just erase those enemies? I hope so. I think the other one disappeared too. I think I did. Oh, that's sick. So if I can keep throwing the eraser around. Um. Oh, I want to erase spiders so bad. Those little bastards have hit me so many times over the years. It's kind of random when I throw them though. These enemies are also annoying. Come on, give me one. I also, I just noticed my spacebar item is never charging for some reason. Oh, hi, bomb spiders. How are you? I don't know what's causing that either, but it scares me. Okay, I am actually getting hit by that stuff. That's unfortunate. For later. What happened to my health? Uh, one of the items that I paid for turned all my health into black hearts. Uh, the black hearts are just like the blue ones um, in that they're like temporary. You can't refill it. But it's just, it's there until you get hit. Um, the only difference is when you lose a full black heart, it, like, the all the enemies in the room take damage. Um, so, like, all my hearts turned black because I paid for an item with health. And that's like a, a common devil deal uh, item effect does that. These buttons can also do random stuff now, which is funny. That one just gave me a troll bomb. Okay, we'll take four later. I, I, I would save it, but... That gave me 0.16 shot speed for later. We have enough keys that it might be worth it to open some of these uh, chests, I guess. I must have something that's making my... Uh... Oh, that was weird. Am I taking damage when I shoot? I really hope not. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. Oh, even though we unlocked the room somehow. 
Oh, the, I actually did take damage from that, too. Well, when I get hit, I my damage uh, stat increases. Oh, and we get teleported. Okay, yeah, we've picked up enough random items now that the game is just gonna kind of screw with us until we uh, lose. Yeah, my health is going down pretty rapidly, and I don't really know why. Common effect of this challenge. Do I choose one of these? I think this is a choose one of these. Hey, 99 keys! It's this is this guy's on <laughs> This guy's on the street in New York. Hey, 99 keys! <laughs> yeah, I got I got you 99 keys. I can't do a New York accent that well anymore, man. I definitely used to be better at that. Uh one one downside I guess of being away is I can't make fun of home anymore. It's kind of sad. Uh I, I guess I'll take a 99 keys. Uh, and sure, maybe this will be the chest that I open. Taking damage makes me explode. That's funny, but I like there being no, um... No spikes. Okay, so that chest is done. A gold chest. I haven't seen one of you in a while. Keys are good. I like picking up keys, but every time I pick up a key, it spawns another chest. Okay, let's just go crazy until we're out of keys, I guess. Oh my god. This, this is not your usual everyday Isaac experience, I'll tell you what. Got some more hearts there though, and that's good. Our damage is still really shitty, which uh, makes me sad. I wish it was any better. I thought I erased these guys? Maybe it's not actually the eraser, it just kills enemies? I don't know. Did I get hit there? Did it just make the hit sound? I really don't know. Okay. Let's just get the hell out of this floor, man. Life for life. Yeah. It, it is a very special place, I'll tell you that. Oh, that was a funny sound. Uh oh, where all my health go? What the hell, man? Something is just sucking all of my health out, and I don't know what it is. Uh, in the spirit of doing that myself, though, I will come in here. I've already been in here. Oh, this is a uh, spacebar item that farts. That's fun. We're just gonna go. Oh, we'll keep the farty item. I don't know what it does. I don't think it's gonna charge either. Whatever, man. I don't know. Okay, arcade. Oh, I have to go into one of these things, even? Maybe I shouldn't be shooting. Maybe I should just let my spiders do the work. Yeah, go kill him. Give me that chest. Okay, not much I can do in here yet. I really wish- that it only costs a penny to go in there usually. I didn't think it was gonna have to be a blue room. It would be a funny effect if every time I went into any room it made me do a blue room. Okay, I'm just gonna die, like on the next room here. For sure. And then I can- we can just keep going- oh, The Sacred Heart sprite, dude. Mm. The sprite there in the middle is probably the single best item in the game, if not second or third. It's very good, and it's very rare, but this is not going to do that. This is just going to be some random crap. And, yeah, more chests, sure, I'll I'll pick this stuff up. I don't even know, what, am I on depths too? Yeah, I'm on depths too. Oh, I walked right into an enemy. That time I can't blame the game. That time I can, though, I have no idea what hit me. Curse room? Oh, the item turned into an enemy, and then the enemy got killed. Uh... What's going on, man? I don't understand. I don't understand. Yep, and there, there's the death. So... I love seeing this funny modded death screen. It makes it, the sting, a little less. It wasn't really my fault that I died. You can argue that once you get strong enough in this challenge, the strategic thing to do is stop picking up items, because eventually you're just gonna pick up something that kills you outright, like whatever the hell killed me. Um... But I was not strong enough to fight the enemies. Like, I, I just, I was getting enough items to potentially get power enough, full enough, but I just didn't get any of the powerful random effects. Tra active item trouble. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It's an active item. Uh, we're probably not going to do the sacrifice room, because that would be silly. Uh, unless I find, like, a, a huge pile of hearts somewhere, which is very possible. Th those spawn on the first floor. In the second secret room, a decent... Uh, amount of time. 
I don't actually know how rare it is. I also don't know if I'm actually going to find the second secret room. It would be a, a good thing to go for on this floor because there is a sacrifice room on the first floor. It's the second secret room. An 11 cent item, half price from 22, I guess. Um, sure. And it's not like in real life where... Oh, nice, a health up. Where when it says it's on sale, it's just lying to you. Um, the on sale items in this game are actually on sale. Okay, I don't know where Monstro came down from, but I think it had to do with me using the active item. It also gave me funny hair. That's entertaining. I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford the um, 11 cent item, which is kind of sad. This is a really tiny Larry Jr. too. He, he was only like three segments. I still managed to take damage to him. I guess there are a lot of rocks in this room. That's probably why. A bug! Yeah, a bug. Everything in this is a bug, dude. It's bugs all the way down. Another active item. Oh. Okay. Does this effect stay with me? And... Yes, dude. Okay, I'm holding this item. This is super good. The tier effects are exactly what you want. So, like, this is the kind of stuff that you want to stack up to be able to do damage and funny stuff happen. Uh, so I'll just hang on to this active item. I think the second secret room is honestly most likely to be right here. I think the regular secret room must be here. Okay, well, hmm. Uh, it couldn't have been here. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll use a bomb for this. This chest will hurt me, though. Might be worth it. Oh, it was just ranged down. Okay, well, with this tier effect, hopefully we'll... We'll have enough health to do okay. Let's go. I'm sad that I don't have the spike removal anymore, but we do see a library, so that's potentially a lot of random items. And I think they could be passives, too, which is pretty cool. This uh, electricity should do uh, pretty good damage to these poop guys. I don't know. Uh, when this tier effect really shines is when you have piercing shots, um, because the electricity continues. Or it's even cooler if you have a tiny planet and then there's like electricity like circles going around you. Um, but, I mean, there's like no way to guarantee that on these crazy rooms. Two rooms that require keys, and no keys. Not even out of that sack oh, that randomly spawned. Okay, and another oh, tinted rock that I can't open too. I found two tinted rocks and... Okay, let's, let's crack this open. Health? Sure. Still have devil chance, so I will. No key for the shop either, still. Very cool. Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit me, but it did. It can kind of be hard to tell. Like, your hitbox is kind of where your, like, body section is in this game, not where your head is. But sometimes your head is also... I don't know. I'm, I'm just an idiot rambling. I, I genuinely don't understand it, man. I would like to take that when I have full red hearts. Can't guarantee that that will be the case. Okay. Please just give me a key. Give me a few keys, please. It's just more tinted rocks I can't blow up. Okay, more stuff I can't do because I don't have the resources for. Even if I wasn't playing the, um the funny challenge, uh, this kind of thing can still happen, where just keys, not having keys in this game, early game, it's just like, okay, well, I don't get to actually, like, play the game, thanks. And it's, it's completely random, like, you have no control over it. The Haunt is a really shitty boss to get here, as the first boss. He's an asshole. He does these brimstone beams that go across the entire room. Yep, there it goes. But if you, like, go lead your shot and go just in front of him a little bit, you know, you can hit him and he can't hit you. Ugh. But there we go. He got me. 99% of my devil deal chance is now out the window. 
Thanks, Haunt. Fuck you. You suck. No devil deal. I'll take an eternal heart prematurely. And I have a uh, space bar item I can use as many times as I want. I don't know what it does. We'll have to use it in a room with enemies. And are there seriously no keys on this entire floor? And I use the one bomb drop? Look at all this wasted potential on this floor, dude. I, I And I shot all the poops too, right? I really shouldn't have picked up the uh, eternal heart, but what am I going to do? Go in the curse room? I got to pick this up now. And I think we just go to the next floor, accepting that I don't get to access most of the goodies here. It's very sad. Yeah, and you can... Goodbye, Abel. Nobody cares about you. That item sucks in the regular game, and the spacebar item did basically nothing. <laughs> yeah, we got to see the cloud flipping Isaac off for like a frame there, because I skipped it. We do lose this electricity tier effect, though. Okay, please tell me this item does anything. It, does it do nothing? It's just the button to press to, that does nothing. Okay. Well. We have literally no items and nothing to our name on the second floor. It happens sometimes. Um, let's hope it doesn't carry through this floor because we'll be in real bad shape. I might just hold R uh, to go back to the first floor and hope to actually pick items up. Uh, we have a spacebar item that does nothing, and that's it, because all we've got is several spacebar items. And then the first thing I get is a key. You're funny, game. You're very funny. I applaud you. Oh, this is a funny joke, too. Thanks. Our devil deal stuffed on the first room with spiders. I'm drowsy, though. Sorry, I'm very drowsy. <laughs> I love doing that voice, but I don't know. It's stupid. There might be a secret room here. Can you check for me? Okay, can you check over here for me? Okay, I think you checked everywhere. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's nice when they help you out. Oh, let's give this one more check. Come on, guys. I mean, I do, I do so little damage that I could make this joke go on forever if I wanted. Come on, one more. No, okay. Meanwhile, they're like, ah, shoot him. Oh, shoot him. Ah. I don't know. The I, I'm literally just ripping off Germa when I do that voice. And he's like one of the biggest guys on this platform, so. Uh, but, I mean, you know. I've got three keys on this floor and none from the last floor. Thank you, game. Why not steal from the funniest guy on the internet, right? I don't know, I grew up watching his videos and they were very entertaining. Where the f There's the item room? I was gonna say, where is my item room? I want items. I want anything. Give me something that does anything. I'm just, I just have base stats, no items. And TM Trainer just looking at me menacingly from my items screen. As I attempt to kill these very weak enemies. Something this game does that I don't necessarily like so much is it makes the en enemies on the first floor like no problem at all if you get any benefit to your starting stats. But if you don't, if you go the first couple floors without any like benefit to your starting stats, this kind of thing happens where these this asshole just keeps spawning more things and I like I don't have enough damage to kill it all. And he runs away and evades all my tears. Like, how many shots am I going to take to kill you? What is this movement, dude? I feel like I'm, I'm getting crossed up in basketball. He's just taunting me, too. Okay, give me a heart. Thanks. The, the spiders in this game are notoriously bastards, though. Like, I feel like everybody knows that who's played this game. The, it's the spiders just, I don't know what it is with their AI. You gotta go, you gotta stop making these blobs, dude. These spider sex. Um, yeah, their AI is just like perfectly evil. Like Edmund had like a brainwave. I would have loved this item <laughs> for this room. The Ace of Clubs just turns all enemies and uh, pickups into bombs. And I could have just said goodbye to all those spiders.
E at a cost. Okay. We'll see what the cost for E is soon. Um. Oh, I'm... Wow. I'm stupid. Uh, I just used an ace of clubs um, with zero bombs, and I turned all these enemies into bombs, but now I can't get any of these bombs because I don't have any bombs. I'm so smart. Well, at least I can't afford that item, but I can get one bomb. Oh, fuck you, game. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't even have to fight you. I'm just gonna leave. That was that's felt spiteful though. That genuinely felt spiteful. At least I got the bomb. But damn, is that gonna happen when I pick up a bomb ever? Oh, I'm just gonna die. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the second moment that I'm, I could clip from <laughs> this uh, challenge already. I'm okay with it. I I want. Right now, just the viewership is low as hell, so I just- I want funny things to happen so I can clip them and upload them online and get more people in here. Because, Rob, it is fun to talk to you uh, in chat, but I would really love it if there were other people here to interact with as well, so... You know how it is. I will just use one bomb on that big pot. I think those things are supposed to be rare, but there might be a mod that I have that's messing with it, because I have, I see them every run. Uh, and the music's gone again. If I turn it up, will it, like, kill me next fl- Oh my god! W why is this, like, one tick on the music, and then that's two? It's, like, so incredibly loud in my ears, I don't know. That's, like, still too loud in my ears now. Some of my mods must be messing up the game. I don't know, man. Mod interaction is one of those things that, like, you you kind of... It's undefined behavior. Which is kind of funny. Like, you can have really entertaining stuff happen. Kind of like TM Trainer. Like, this challenge sort of stuff happen. Um, but, you know... Yeah, if you want to bully Jake and make him get in here too, he said he would he would come and watch the stream. He was like, oh man, how can I help? And I was like, just come and watch the stream sometimes. You can just leave the tab open, I don't care, but like type in chat sometimes. He's like, oh yeah, I'll do it. His ass is never here. Shouldn't be calling my friends out live on stream. That's PM, but there's no one here. I'll just mute that part of the VOD. He pops in for a sec, yeah. Of course, if he did, it would be right when I'm talking shit, right? When I started, I had four viewers. And then, like, I started to talk, and it's like, oh, one. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that item that I just used did. Funny music, though. Okay, little horn. You kind of suck to fight with no damage. But it's not so bad. I like the, uh... See, mods for games a lot of times add features that just should be there. I really like the custom health bars that, like, it's got his face on there. And it's, like, this is a champion variant of the uh, boss, too. So, it's got, like, a special champion face. It's probably because the game? And he's a weenie. This is a good game. This is a funny game. I, entertaining things have happened. I don't know. If you, if there's something that you would be more entertained if I was would play, I, I could switch it up here. I did get Lies of P, which is like maybe a little bit out of the zeitgeist of Twitch like meta right now. I don't know, but like it's just not as popular. Yeah, like my whole thing is that I'm funny. And, like, playing whatever popular game, like, I don't know if, like, I need dumb things to happen in the game to, like, riff off sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's a crutch. Maybe I need to play, like, much less entertaining games and find a way to be funny anyway. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing what I know. I'm just playing the games that I like and that I would be playing anyway. I don't know, man. 
Um, but uh, yeah, Liza P. I, I, it was on sale, so I bought it. This is a tinted rock. This is an explosive spider. Can I hit you? Um, you're over here. Please walk this direction. Yeah. I know, that's like... Both of these games are like very isolated, very dedicated communities. Um, and it's like people who like TF2 don't really give a shit about other gaming content. And it's like... I get that some of the games that I play are like relatively dense and there's a lot going on, but I don't know. I, I would like to be a variety streamer who also plays TF2 sometimes, um, but it seems like what the TF2 community wants is TF2 content creators who don't do anything else, which is kind of lame. I don't know. I Like I like that game. I like it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite games ever made, but I, want, I don't want to just do that. I would get burnt out. I want to do that occasionally. I, I, would, I would even do it like two or three times a week. I don't care. I don't know. I mean, people like what content they like, and I can't fault anyone for that, you know? But it's... I actually saw in the past, like, some content creators were like, Look, I, I played TF2 for a long time, and now uh, I just, like, don't have any ideas for it anymore. I don't have the passion for it anymore. This game has been around for a long time. I want to move on. And they got, like, bullied. But like righteously by the community at like to a degree that was really unnecessary and i don't know i don't know why people are like that like if if the content creator is not enjoying making the content like don't give them a hard time for doing something else i don't know i guess people on the internet are just very bad at um like, it, you're so removed. It's, it's it, You're always interacting with fundamentally other people, you know? Weeks for delivery. So, I'm guessing what's going to happen is I will I'll press the space bar. Or, or I'll, I'll press the trigger to activate this item. And then in two weeks, uh, my Isaac game will crash on stream. That's my guess. It says two weeks for delivery. Uh... We'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll mark my calendar and we'll see. That was my only key. So we're not visiting the item room. But, I mean, any room is going to have the same items in it. So I don't know why. Uh, the planetarium is just rare. So I got a 1% planetarium. Yay. But they're random items, so it doesn't matter. On the internet, it, it doesn't feel like you're interacting with other humans. But you fundamentally always are. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, this item that I have is apparently berserk. That's funny. Okay. Well, that made short work of the boss. Why are, Why is everything... Everything is spacebar items, and this is a spacebar item that is the eraser. The fart eraser. You rub it and it makes you fart. See, how, how could I compete with this game? It's just, it's funny enough on its own. I have the infinite fart machine now. And... It literally looks like Isaac is just rubbing the eraser on his ass and holding it above his head. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that I it, I killed the boss that much faster, right? Penny tears. You liar. That's not penny tears. I don't know if anything happened when I picked that item up, but at least it's a passive and not another active item. I gotta take the funny fart eraser, I guess. And I have a key. I guess we'll see what's uh, in this chest and decide if it's worth taking damage to get. Honestly, that's not too bad. Range up, sure. I think I do want to use some more bombs to blow this up. Oh, nice. Just barely snagged the key without taking damage. Oh, I'm gonna be silly. I have enough health. Why not? This is dumb, but I don't care. Tears down is rough. Now I fire slower. Oh, man. Does this make me invulnerable? No. I thought it was worth a try. Oh, that was a sound. That was a very, very interesting sound. Okay. Well, I just gave all my health away, and I didn't even do it uh, 
for the sacrifice room. I guess the sacrifice room, who cares? Usually you do that because you can get angel items doing that and a bunch of health. But angel items are just random. It's just we're just we're just picking random crap up, dude. I don't know what it does. You don't know what it does. This is probably the secret room right here. Boom. It's another random thing. Who knows? Maybe this will have money. The shop keeps five cents. Very nice. That thing looked like uh I don't know what that item is called. The thing that gives you the flat, funny banana tier things. You get like crescent tears from that. I don't know what it is. I don't know why that one rock is red either. It's like recolored the wrong color. You can see the harsh outline. This item, I'm like Pavlov dog trained to think that this item is going to be really good because the sprite that that is is Echo Chamber, which is like a really rare secret room item that's super good. Used to be the most busted thing in the game. Um, whenever you used a card or take a pill, uh, what it did on release was, uh, it stored that, and then anytime you used a card or pill after that, it did that effect too, and there was no limit on how many things you could store, and so you could just have one, like, anytime you use a card, it does every card effect, which is insane. It's so good, and you, you can curate what stuff you put in there and not use cards or runes and stuff that you don't want to. And it was ridiculous. Um, and then they changed it so it's just, it only remembers the last three things. So you only need to get like, you only can get, it basically makes it so any card is like four of it, four of that card, which is still incredible. It's like really busted, but it's not as really busted. I don't think I'm gonna get, oh my God, is this an eraser I can use every two rooms? Holy shit, this would actually be one of my favorite ways to win in this game. Oh, those guys are gonna explode though. I don't know what. What's causing me to drop those? Okay, we need to test something real quick. Can I erase you? Oh, it's gonna be hard. These enemies are boss enemies. You have to kill them with the eraser. It does like 15 damage, which is like nothing. I don't know what blew him up. Did he blow himself up? Okay, I gotta do one more room, and then we can test it. I'm, I'm gonna hold off on picking up another item. That's another, um... Active item, too. So... We're gonna do this room. Okay, and those things are gonna keep spawning for some reason. That's usually an active item that spawns those. Uh, but they make the enemies shoot at them, which is cool. I don't know if... Sure, give me a coin. Thanks. I have a sun card as well, which is a full heal. Oh. So, wait, let's see, can I just... Yeah, those enemies are gone. And I can do that every two rooms. Oh my, and see, we just got to see the effect of it immediately. So you saw how those, I walked in this room and the enemies just disappeared and the room reward spawned. That's the effect of, uh, oh yeah, I'm erasing spiders. Goodbye. <laughs> now these guys can try to spawn spiders all day and you're never going to do it because they don't exist. According to the game. That's so funny. Nice spiders, idiot. Um... Yeah, so this run is unequivocally pretty much won. Um, I, like, I'm gonna remove every enemy from the game, and every time I walk in the room it's just gonna clear. Because I get to do- you usually can only do this once per floor, and I can do it every two rooms. Uh, so... I'm basically just- we're just gonna erase it all. This is not something you usually get to do, so I'm gonna try not to pick up too much stuff to ruin it. Um, We're just going to try to erase enemies. They're all going to explode. Are you guys immune to explosions or only your own explosions? Only your own. That's cool. Oh, bad trip. You just take some damage. You go on a bad trip, you take some damage, you walk it off, you know? Not exactly a one-to-one -one for real life, I feel like. Um, I feel like I know some folks who've gone on bad trips and they did not just walk it off. You're gone forever, Mr. Host fuck. Dice shard does nothing. One center. Give it to me. I said I wasn't going to pick items up, and then I see a one cent item. Like the lowest possible cost? Yeah, I'll take it. Sack? Gives me a troll bomb? Sure. Give me this card. Let's me fly. Don't really care too much, but... I will do this room, so that we get the charge to erase another enemy from existence. I bet you this is a secret room. Nice, and that gives us access to the curse room for free, and a whole bunch of money. Looks like we don't have anything that triggers when we pick money up yet, so that's good. 
eventually you just kind of do get effects like that in this game. I could give all of my health away and lose the run. I'm not going to do it. Uh, compost. And I'm getting a phone call that might actually be important. I'm sorry, I gotta take this. I'll put the BRB screen up, I'm sorry. Sorry for the absence, um, it ended up not being important, but you know, such is life, sometimes it is, so you gotta take it. Um, what was I doing? I was erasing all the enemies. This is gonna be a cool run. Um, can I erase you guys? Oh, well, it, not if I hit a rock with the eraser, huh? I think you can actually erase them, and it's funny when it happens. I thought that was going to be an active item, but we get to keep our funny eraser thing, which is cool. Uh, I'll grab the sun card. You know what? Maybe we'll use the sun card. It's probably the best play. I don't know if I can get to that heart anyway. Uh, well, I had a hangman. I guess I could use the hangman. Where did the sun go? It's either here. There's the hangman. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the sacrifice room. We're going to take damage. We're going to take damage. We're going to go over here. We're going to use the hangman. We're going to get this heart. We're going to get the sun card and from right here, which is a full heal. And we will go back to the sacrifice room where we will pay three more health. This might give us an item. Okay. That's not a bad trinket at all. It lets us exit rooms if we want. Um, early, I can't hit it again. Uh, without using the sun, so give me an item. Sure. Let's go out of the room because I don't want to lose the cool thing. That just spawns a shopkeeper. Super lame item. Uh, so the next is going to be troll bombs, and then after that is a uh, fight with an angel, and then after that is the one that gives you spirit hearts. We're not going to be able to get that far on the amount of health that we have. Um, so... Let's just go. That's one of those situations where, um, like, the item description mod, which is what is showing us what the payouts are, helps you to a certain degree in your decision making for uh, how much health to put in. Uh, but there's a certain point where you just gotta kind of know, um, because it would be foolish to put more health in there at that point, um, considering that we wouldn't be able to actually get the payout. And sometimes, I mean, it is 50-50. You gotta remember, the health bonus from that is 50-50. Oh yeah, let's erase these mushrooms. Bye. See ya. Won't have to worry about them again. Something's giving me a bunch of health. That, in conjunction with the eraser effect, means I have one. So I need to just not... Whatever is giving me health needs to keep doing that. And I need to not lose the eraser. Bad gas. Ooh, my frame rate. Frame rate was going crazy. It keeps saying odd mush. DD mush. Zero. Sure. I'll take DD mush. I don't know what that does. Let's erase another guy. You get erased. Bye bye, Larry. Larry is gone. And not not exactly missed. But he is gone. 
weird effects are happening now. I need to not pick up any more items because there's going to be something that just kills me. I look up at my health and suddenly all of my red hearts are gone. So they're replaced by spirit hearts. So that's interesting for sure. I would love to erase you, little poop man. These guys, You see these guys so many times throughout the run. Oh, that guy's going to explode. But you go over there. Oh, and he turned into a greed head. Okay, I have an eraser. Oh yeah, spider, we'll be seeing you. Never. You want to spawn another one? Nice try, idiot. Haha, <laughs> it's never going to happen. Yeah, keep trying. I bet it in your code you're set to stop doing that once it spawns. Well, it's never going <laughs> to. Get cooked, idiot. That was fun. Uh, and I can, you know what? I can erase the greed heads and then they'll never spawn anymore. I should just do that next time I get the eraser. I shouldn't be taking any more items, to be honest, so I'm just gonna... We're gonna keep trying to erase stuff here. Oh, that was weird. My character was, like, dancing funny for a second. My sprite looks different. I don't know, maybe it didn't... Maybe I'm going crazy. I would love to erase these guys, actually. I'll tell you what. They suck. Maybe I'll get a chance to. It, like, I keep encountering the enemies when the, um, this eraser item is on the, uh, it doesn't have it fully charged. I'm speaking super good today. Why am I doing that? I don't want to take more items. Okay. Range up pill is fine. Oh yeah, you guys are gone. And I'll get the greed heads next time, but get those bombs out of here. And that is a funny way to combat the negative effects of, um, of TM Trainer, or the, the challenge effect, I guess I should say, is, um, you know, just when something bad happens, or when an enemy spawns, uh, erase it, <laughs> you know? And we get to see the rare, uh, black market. Those used to not actually work properly at all. I don't think I want to take any of those, because they could just be anything. But we will read their titles, because it's funny. Uh, three charge, active item. Mm -hmm. NL, false. Or FFZ, I don't, I don't know, I, Ham, the Fezes, sure. Bar of Zero, Iendli Balgata, Magnetizing T. Dude, I don't these names. Keeper's Boo. A helping hand. Keeper's Boo. Oh no. That Im Does that imply something about the Keeper? About his helping hand? The Keeper's Boo is his helping hand? That's that's messed up allegations, Keeper. <laughs> I think the game just called the Keeper a virgin. That's funny. I would love to erase any of these schmucks, I'll tell you that. But uh, we should see the greed heads will not spawn at the end of the room anymore. Um, so that's good, I guess. Countering the TM Trainer effect with itself. I need to make sure I don't take something that ruins my thing. Oh, and a charge key here means I get to erase two enemies. You are gone. Nice. Yeah, I guess I'll take the charge key into the big room. Because I don't know if there's going to be more rooms after that. I know I did waste one bit of charge on that, but the big room also would have wasted one bit of charge. I guess I could have gone in here first and maybe there's enemies. I don't want that. Ball speed. My balls are going a perfectly fine speed, dude. I don't need my balls on speed. That... Dude, that's like the, the worst advertisement. Oops, I used a... Oh, our... Our uh, little... Uh, what is he called? The little baby that we've left behind. It, he's a, a decoy. There we go. That's the word. Our decoy blocked the eraser. That was very sad. I have no idea what I was saying. I think it was funny. Whatever it was, I don't remember. I don't know, man. Let's 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 go on to the next floor. Caves two. Let's visit the depths. I was gonna say it felt like I was in the ash pit or the mines the whole time, and that's because the fl the room layout was the mines. Okay, you guys are gone. Goodbye. Thank you. I haven't seen the greed heads since I erased them, so that's good. 
I think that coding is pretty much absolute. I've never seen the eraser logic broken, where like you erase an enemy and then, um, like they spawn somehow. That would be pretty messed up. Um, I wonder if anybody has erased every enemy in the game. Oh, more spiders gone. Beautiful. And because this was a large room, it fully charged our item. I, I could erase Lust, but I would have to time it perfectly. The decoy just completely countering Lust. Goodbye, Lust. I'll take the pill. It's a range down. I've got range up pills, so not too sad to take a range down this run. Okay, come on. Maybe this can actually be the, the winning uh, run here for TM Trainer. Did not get a full charge off the last room. Oh, and now I'm just... I, I thought I was going to be able to fly for some reason. So I just walked headlong into a rock. Very brilliant. The decoys could honestly probably handle most threats for me. A gulp? Sure. That makes it so the door stays open at all times? Oh, no more flies. That's big. No more basic flies. No more flies? No more spiders? Uh, we got rid of bomb flies? We got rid of a bunch of enemies. Beautiful, dude. Hey, Fels9. Yeah, TM Trainer Run, and guess what? We got an a, eraser you can use every two rooms, which is probably my favorite TM Trainer setup I've ever had. I mean, I might have 3.5 damage, which is the starting damage, and 2.16 tier rate, which is awful, but I can erase an enemy every room, and now there's no more double flies. Every two rooms, sorry. I would like to get rid of these little leaper guys. Oh yeah, and we spawn the decoy uh, just randomly sometimes. So I feel like I'm set. I don't need to take any more items, right? Oh, we can just... you can go. Okay, the big poops are gone, but we'll still see little poops. And we see a golden bomb. Okay. Right, this was, this was the run that we got the double bomb thing from the start. Fill our health back up, and I'll fight an angel. I'm not afraid. Especially we got more health. Sure. I mean, my damage is piss, but... Who cares? Oh, is our... Our decoy is gold. Oh, does he just stick around now? Oh, no. That could be bad. Well, it'll kill the angel, that's for sure. And we leave it with full health. I'm okay with it. And no more flies. See, if I break this poop... Bye. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. I've, I've erased maybe 10 enemies now. I wonder if it works on those stone guys. I don't think it does. Um, yeah, but uh, an earlier run, we did see a fake eraser that threw the eraser, but it didn't actually work. And I was... I did not do a victory lap. I meant, like, um, I died. I had a run that was going pretty well, and then I just I picked up an item that killed me. I didn't do a victory lap. Um, it happens. I mean, such is TM Trainer. Like, I'm not taking whatever this is, mom's contacts forever. <laughs> Re forever. It's, is this a, a sign of what's to come? Twitch in the future? Re forever? Uh, perhaps. Um, I don't know. Let's just fight the boss. I can erase any ads you spawn. Um, and we had something that was spawning greed heads. Um, and I just erased the greed heads. I was like, okay, sure. You want to spawn greed heads? Uh, no. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> I could erase the boss if I time it really well. This game is so funny, right, dude? Okay, you're gone. No ads for you. I, I, you literally usually don't even fight this boss for long enough to see ads. I guess I could just be dropping bombs everywhere. Oh, my bombs are so strong. Why was I not doing that from the start? Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Let's hope it doesn't kill me. And we, we have the King Baby army, too. I don't know why, but th the familiar that all he does is when you shoot, he makes the other familiar sit still. I now have a bunch of them. <laughs> does my um, does my voice sound super... Do you want to break from the ads? Buy Twitch Prime. Uh, here at the top of the hour, every hour, we see an ad break. <laughs> if you want to avoid those ads... I, I don't know. I I'm definitely not at that point yet. I wouldn't be upset to be delivering ads, um, just because that would be money coming in, but, um, you know. 
They don't have ads anyway. VPN or just live somewhere where there are no ads or what? I forgot I had the eraser. Okay. Well, let's get rid of him. He's gone. Big rooms mean free eraser. More spiders gone. Shouldn't take that. It's an active item anyway. Oh, the boils can get gone soon. I wouldn't be upset. Oh, whoa, okay. I don't know what's spawning uh, items and throwing them around the room. That's pretty funny. Hmm. I guess I'll take Ace of Spades. Keys are fine. Oh, I hate this room. Oh yeah, I hate this room a lot. Okay, I would have liked to erase the hearts, but I kind of panicked. These blue... Oh, those things suck. Nice, we get the very cool shop with the lucky pennies. I think we're gonna get some more red health here after this floor, which is nice. Get me out of that room. Oh, your phone is just not showing ads? That's honestly sick. Twitch ads are annoying. Wait, can I? We're gonna find out. I don't even care. It's This is a two, two charge item. I'll waste a charge. Two room charge item. No, it didn't work. That's sad. I, you know what? I, I didn't even think to try, so I thank you for the suggestion, but sadly it, it did not bear fruit. I think I erased the big, I erased the big version of these guys, but not the headless version. Well, it's very possible that like a mod that I have bricked it because I have some stupid mods. Oh, this is... This is the card that is just magic skin, isn't it? That's weird. And it could have been a mod that allowed it to work for somebody else, too. I don't, I don't know. You never really know with this game. Man, I wish I erased these guys. I wonder if you can erase the mask and not the heart. Um, and just have the hearts sit there without the mask. I have no idea. Oh, these guys can go, though. Oh, it doesn't work on the... The white ones are just invulnerable, so the eraser just doesn't work on them at all. I guess that's fine. You know what? I don't need range. I'll take a range down. Yeah, I'll use it in the secret room. Uh, but I'm, I mean, it's TM Trainer, so it's not going to matter where I use it. We do get a Forget Me Now. But I mean, it's again, it's TM Trainer. I think that's honestly one of the few times it's not beneficial. I don't want to take more items right now. Oh, I didn't erase them. Well, now I did. <laughs> Bye. We'll be seeing you later. I would love to erase all of you, too. These guys suck. You know what? Have a bomb. Oh, I placed a bomb and then it, it got destroyed. You know what? I will take one more half heart. You can only erase the heart. Oh, that makes sense. Just like the white skulls that I just tried to erase and couldn't. Any enemy that's invulnerable. Yeah, you can try to spawn spiders all you want, but it's not going to do anything. Oh, okay. Those spiders can spawn. I missed the eraser. I didn't know it was going to get sucked in by the by the guy. I guess it makes sense. And I forgot this was mom floor, but I think we're going to be okay. I don't know how I didn't manage to erase any of the mom ads. This is the one that spawns a bunch of them, I think. Yeah, this is this is the champion that spawns a bunch of them. Any projectile can be sucked. That makes sense, honestly. Not surprised. I've been playing this game for like 700 hours. I have all the achievements, um, all but one of which pretty much I got legitimately. One was, I, I think, a bug, <laughs> um, but yeah, and yet I did not know that. I don't even know if I care about this. I mean, maybe, oh, I can erase you, hand enemy. See ya. <laughs> now we're going to hear the mom laughter and it's not going to do anything. Played since Afterbirth? Sick. I got this game uh, on release, I think, actually, crazily enough. Um, I I had not played the Flash version, but I was a big fan of uh, the YouTuber Star, um, who, who was like a TF2 YouTuber at the time. And uh, he was streaming Isaac and I was like, this game seems really cool. And then I found out that it was made by the same guy who made, oh, give me that cracked key. I'll take that. Um, it was made by the same guy that made um, Super Meat Boy, which is a game that I 
had played uh, when I was younger as well. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll play this game. And now here I am, like a, literally a decade later, many expansions later. I know I ignored the five room, I'm sorry. Uh, we see a four room. I don't know if that's going to matter either. I'm just going to try not to take items. I, this We might see the super secret or ultra secret or whatever. Nope. Oh, I wanted to erase one of you. I guess I got the little one. That's fine. Didn't get the ultra secret, but it was a valiant effort. Yeah. Pretty much same. Like, the first time I saw this game, I was like, oh my god, this is cool. And it was the day that it released, so... It's not like I knew about it before the day it released, but I did buy Isaac, uh, re uh, Rebirth on release, I should say. Not, um, not Flash or anything. But yeah, it's some of the best, like, $15 I've ever spent. You love to walk in a room and just have the enemies go away. Uh, erasing you would be kind of pointless. I can walk you into a spike, though. That's fun. I think that's the way that you're intended to do that room. But nobody actually does it that way. I could try to erase Wrath. It would be kind of hard. Don't think I want to take that. It almost looks like it says uh, bitch there at the end of that. That's kind of funny. Wait, are you not lured by the decoy there? That's kind of weird. A lot of stuff gets turned into like boogers <laughs> at the end of the room. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. Oh, you guys can go for sure. We're on the womb, but it looks like the like uh, depths. That's pretty messed up. Or is this the necropolis uh, wall layout? But we're on the womb. I probably should have tried to go into another room and erase another enemy first, but here we are, taking stupid damage, as is the Isaac tradition. To erase wrath. I didn't even really try. I, sh I guess I should have gone for it. I was like... Well, he, he did die to the decoy. I, I I did intend to go for it, I guess I should say, but he died to the decoy, so... You know. I hope Conquest dies to one of these decoys. That would be pretty nice. Um, Because it's kind of my main source of damage right now. As sad as that is... Oh my god, look how many of them spawned. Ugh. <laughs> Pin evil range Shah. Oh no. Yeah, c cathedral rocks. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that makes so much sense for why the rocks look like that. Ah! Troll bomb. Genuine fear in my voice. <laughs> I don't think I want to take. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I want to take that. I do want to erase more enemies though. Uh, since we're on the womb, we're going to be seeing enemies on this floor a lot more. So I will uh, continue to screw around. Uh, we have to fight Blue Baby on this run? Looking at the th thing? Okay, yeah, I'll get rid of you. I haven't erased you. I erased the versions of that enemy that has the eyes. Oh, I walked into the decoy again. I need to be careful of that. I would feel real bad to lose this run because of just poor health management. But it would not be the first time. Okay, don't take damage to- these. E I swear these enemies have been screwing me up since day one. Okay, that's kind of a wonky enemy to erase, but at least I got an erasure. Probably would have been better to get this little stem guy, actually. I could get you. You're a regular enemy. We could potentially erase a couple things in here. Oh, these enemies suck. I remember when they added the boss that these enemies go with, I, I was like... It took me a long time to figure that boss out. I don't remember what it's called. I have no damage. Can you please die? Yes. Go hang out around the decoy. Thank you. Okay. Well, there go those guys. Oh, and I really want to get the hosts, too, but I'm not going to get a chance. Hosts are, like, the best enemies in the game to erase, I swear. Yeah, but those those masks are kind of rare. Those, like, half masks, I feel like. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I um, take some items for fun, for funnies? Because I've already beaten this challenge. I don't care. Just to see what happens. Or should I keep trying to just erase all the enemies? 
risk it? No. no. Okay, well, I, I gotta take the eraser item with me. That gave me damage, so can't be upset. Wheel of Fortune? Oh, don't take that. Okay, that card is the card to not take. You both in... just... <laughs> in sync. We're like, do it. Okay. All right. Let's take the evil oh no item. See, that's the one I would have expected to make, like, scary noises. But no, a, a 2.0 uh, damage upgrade is uh, huge. That's very, very good. Oh, and we have the little guy, too. That must have been one of those items we picked up. He's He just dies, though. Okay, well, I would maybe have rather erased something else, but it's okay. I want to find ways to get more health. Oh, and this guy means I can overcharge my battery in the item. Yeah. Literally all I would want to spend money on right now is more erasing enemies, so let's do it. I got something. I don't know what it was. Lost soul. Yeah. It's like, I know what almost all of the enemies in this game and like items and stuff do. Like what, how all of it operates, but you, I do not know most of its names. I'm sorry. I just, it's, there's too many games to know all of the stuff of. Oh, the reverse tower is fun. That's why we've got the, uh, description mod. I should probably have the item description mod, like, hidden, because it's kind of ugly a lot of the time, but I probably should have recharged my eraser for this room, huh? I love the animation for the rocks getting created. Sure, show me the world. And I will... Oh, hit myself like an idiot, but it's fine. I don't know why I was like, oh, I can just walk out of here. No, you can't, dumbass. <laughs> Strength, that's fine. TM Trainer is broken. Yeah, those items that just delete your health, I kind of wish they fixed TM Trainer so it doesn't do that, but it is like, oh, I just missed. Well, goodbye, Lost Soul. You you will be missed. Um, like, I wish they made it a little easier to use. If I just get rid of you, okay, yeah, those items, those enemies are not gonna be a problem anymore, but I need to not die. This <laughs> is the challenge here. Ugh. And I have to make it through the chest, so I have a couple more floors of annoyance. That room is not too bad. Oh, that tiered us down pill. The first tiers down pill was just like, it put me on a path of really bad tier rate for the rest of the run. I, I sometimes have flight, and I sometimes don't, and I have no idea what's causing it. I don't want to die to polycephalus, come on. That would be embarrassing. Okay, don't die to my own decoy, either. The magician. Sure, I'll use it on the boss. Oh, goodbye, eyes. We will see you. That is an enemy that I would erase. Like, top priority erasure is that eye enemy. I usually stand on one side of the screen for this boss, so my freaking decoys screw me up, man. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm sorry, folks. Maybe, yeah. Okay, well I exited the boss fight. Uh, that was probably just a bad idea. Maybe I can get some other health on this um, floor somewhere. Oh god. I don't know what killed them all, but I'll take it. Am I a wizard? I don't know, but it gave me a black heart, so that's a good start. That is a good start. You know what? I will blow some of these up. Oh, that was a terrible idea. I don't know what exploded like that. Okay, and black heart gone. Is this ancient recall? Huge growth. I don't care. Funnily enough, that was a uh, one of the cards that it took me, or the pills, or whatever. Oh yeah, no, it's a card. It's one of the cards that took me the longest time to unlock because I just didn't like meet the criteria for it for the longest time. Don't know who I erased to. Oh, I almost died to the Horf pill. That would have been very sad. Kill you with the Teratoma. Um, I could have erased him, I guess. 
sure. The strength at least gives me an extra health. Oh, bonies, be gone. Bonies are also, those those eye laser enemies and bonies are absolutely top priority. And get the brimstone eyes too before we die. You know what? I can die a happy man. I erased spiders, I erased flies. Uh, I can't pick up the red hearts because I don't have any uh, empty containers. Um, some effect earlier, um, some effect earlier did, uh, like removed my red heart containers and gave me soul hearts. It, it's the guppy's paw effect, I guess, that did that. Um, but I don't know what triggered it, and now I don't have any red heart containers, so, um, what Guppy's Paw does is it takes a red heart container in, away and it gives you three soul hearts, which can be very good if you have a bunch of empty containers. In my case, it was bad. I can die a happy man, though, because I erased so many enemies. Uh, yeah, and Isaac together, I haven't set that up um, to play with friends or anything, but uh, that could be fun sometime. Um, if I encountered like other streamers or anyone thing, someone that wanted to do that, that could be a riot. Okay, well, I can go to the secret room as well if I need to, but... But yeah, that death was uh, predicted. I think that's all of the, um, I don't know. If you guys want me to keep doing uh, the delete this challenge, I will. Yeah, nice. That could be a good time. I'm sorry I died. I tried to keep it going for as long as possible, but I did erase the, the eye laser enemies and the eye brimstone enemies and spiders and flies and all manner of other stuff. So that that was that was a, a good time all around, but do whatever I want. Okay. Oh, I will. Oh, you guys want to see me suffer? <laughs> Jacob and Hitbox. Um this character is actually two characters, um, and you have to control them both at the same time. Good luck! Oh, hell no, yeah. I, I was like, what do I not want to do? Jacob and Esau, so I'll force myself. Uh, doesn't matter who we give the Spelunker hat to, it has the same effect. Yeah, but uh, I, a lot of people with this character give all the items to one of the characters, um, and then the other one. Go to Mega Satan. Oh boy. Okay. I'll try. I mean, I'll try. We'll see. Um, at least you didn't say mother. If you said mother, I would actually cry, because the mother path with this character is hell. Um, you do get extra items, which is good, but um, I hate that boss. And just the mausoleum floor, and honestly the mines too, mess me up real bad. Lost some Esau health there, that's sad. Ugh. It's been forever since I've played these characters though, so I will, um... Probably die early. Just break the game? Yeah. Uh, I, I can try to do that, too. I'm not, like, an ace game breaker, like, um... What's his name? There's this guy, Albino, who can just pull an R key out of thin air. Um... And I- that's very funny. I just, I don't know, I can't do it. Now, if I can remember how to use the cards and stuff as these characters, that would be great. If I die, play Isaac? Okay. Tainted Cane. I tried to do Tainted Cane on stream. I was doing random runs last week, and I tried to do Tainted Cane, and I just, it's like too much mental load for me to talk and play Tainted Cane at the same time. I, I tried to take it slow, and still I was just not getting any items, and I was like forgetting pickups, and I was like, this... This character just doesn't have, like, room for me. I can handle it barely off-stream. And I actually cheesed some unlocks with Tainted Cane. Uh, back before the patch, it was very easy to break the game with Tainted Cane. Uh, you could just, uh, you know, go greed mode, make two uh, steam sales, and then everything is, like, ludicrously cheap, and then you can just make whatever items you want, you know, make... Uh, Rock bottom soy milk. After the patch, yeah, there's a couple ways to do it. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really endeavored to try uh, since that patch. Oh man, let's just make it past the first floor as this character. Let's see if I can do it. I might just die on this room though. In which case, I'll just play Isaac. Sure. Ooh, that was a, a bit of a close shave, huh? Come on, break your break your own ads. Oh, okay, you know what? I'll take the damage as Jacob. That's fine. We lived by a hair. 
Um, and we get to see where the secret rooms are, but we don't actually get to, um... Get any items. Or, enter them. Sorry, I don't have any bombs. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are hard. Tainted Azazel. You know what? I haven't played Tainted Azazel in a long time. That, that could be fun. I like Tainted Azazel. That character's funny. Um, I always thought Azazel was, like... A little too strong at the start of the game, and a little too weak at the late of the game because you don't have very good range. And, like... They they just fixed that. They made it so that he's not as strong early in the game, and you have good range. And, boom. No notes. Like, they they took the character that I, like, I had, like, gameplay-wise, like, annoyances with, and they just made it... Like, the tainted version is just good. I don't know. I... I I gotta hand it to Edmund, like, the, um, the tainted characters and stuff, and, and just all of the Repentance update and everything since has just been, like, astoundingly good. There there was a kind of blighted period in this game's, uh, life just before that. Yeah, Normal Azazel is, like, the speedrun character. I, I think I beat the game in, like, three minutes once with, uh, Azazel, um, using, like, um, sacrifice rooms and, and stuff like that. It's, you know, you have brimstone, so, like, the sky is really the limit on what you can do. Um, I would love to get regular brimstone uh, on stream. I don't think I have. We had one really crazy run um, last week as well, but yeah, I guess I should let you know since you're in here. I'm trying to do sort of variety streaming sort of deal, where like I have some games that I come back to uh, regularly, and I would like for Isaac to be one of them, because it's just so much fun, but uh, I will not be always playing Isaac, like Sinvicta or um, Cobalt Streak, I'm not one of those sort of one game kinds of guys. Um, there's just so, so many fun games out there, man. I'm excited. To, I, I I purchased Liza P. It was on sale on Steam. I'm excited to start that. Um, but I did start a... Um, oh, Tech X Monster as Long as Sick. That's awesome. Oh, that's sweet. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, something about... Uh, Liza P. And how I want to play it. Um... I think I'm a little late to the party on that one, but it's fine. Oh, more... Find more puberty, more good. I should have used the puberty pills on the same character. That was misplay, but... Um... I don't think it will mean the end of the world. Okay, weird. We got the same secret room layout on both secret rooms. That's kind of rare. And I, I guess we'll get two active items here. They're not, like, my favorite active items, but they're fine. Sometimes Terraria. Oh, sw sweet. I, I've played a, a ton of Terraria. Um, and uh, I'm absolutely... I, I played one stream of it, and I was like playing it for like four hours, and I had zero viewers the whole time, and I was like, it's kind of hard. Don't use the metronome. <laughs> it's just, it's like super random, right? I don't, it could just be any random item. I've had bad things happen to me with it, but it seems like you have like a particularly haunting experience you'd like to share. <laughs> Um, every active, yeah. Including Plan C, right? So you just die sometimes? Sometimes you just die, right? That's dumb. Like, I don't know what they were thinking putting an item in the game that's just like, yeah, sometimes you use it, it just kills you. So we'll take flush, I guess. Damocles? Oh my god. <laughs> that's so bad. I mean, that's basically Plan C. I think Plan C is probably the one thing that's not in the pool. And instantly got hit. That's so funny. I hope you at least got a clip that, like, did well off that. Because that's funny. Um, I, I was talking about this on stream a while ago. Um, that, like, I love... My favorite moments in games is when the game spits in your eye. Like, you gotta hand it to Edmund. Uh, you gotta hand it to Miyazaki. Oh, before streaming. Okay. The, the Dark Souls guy. Like, when, when he rolls a flaming barrel down the hill and it hits you in the face, like, you, you gotta just hand it to him. It's funny, you know? And 
that's just... I don't know. I, I, I live for those moments playing this game. I wonder if who you take deep pockets on matters? I don't know. I'm not going to find out because we're just going to take a soul heart. I, well, maybe I will find out. Uh, Mr. Me, can I have that? Sweet. I don't know if it matters who takes that. I'll give it to Jacob. Um, was there? I like tunnel vision on that item. Was there anything else in here that I care about? I mean, I have just enough for a card. So I'll take a card. It's a sun card. Sure. Let's go. Can I? Okay, well, sometimes you guys get counted as uh, just basic enemies. Like, I erased Larry Jr. last run. Like, he just, he turned into erase. Um, oh yeah, I was saying something about playing Terraria. Yeah, um, that game is, like, very easy to just zone out and, like, quietly play that game with, like, music on in the background. And so it, like, felt a little non-conducive to streaming for me. But if I was playing with a friend or, like, a, another streamer or something, I'm sure that would also be fun. Um, but Terraria is a riot. Um, I recently got the last achievement, the purifying a whole world. That was annoying. Uh, I, I just exploded it all. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'll just blow it all up. Uh, which character has a worse tier rate? I think Esau. Yeah. And now they're pretty in line with each other. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use either of these spirit hearts to go in the cursed room. So let's just go. Take that. Oh, has Esau, I guess. Oh, and if you leave the room and come back in. Mm, it doesn't. I was like, hmm. <laughs> if I leave the room and I come back in, uh, sometimes you can get pickups from Larry Jr.'s poops. I don't remember exactly how it works. I guess it's chance based, so who knows? Yeah, I do have Terraria. Um, too many hours in that game as well on Steam. Probably about the same as this. Six to eight hundred hours in both of those games. <laughs> it does, but it's 25. Yeah, yeah. I have a bad habit of just, like, saying things that are wrong without thinking when I'm... Specifically when I'm streaming. Like, I feel like I don't do that in interpersonal stuff. It's just, like, I feel the need to fill airtime so bad that I just, like, say words as quick as I can. And I, I don't think that's a good habit to get into, so... Give me that. What is this? This is a joker? This is gonna this is gonna take me to the devil. Oh, I didn't mean to drop those. Uh it, sure. Oh, did I press the right button? Bloody lust. I honestly like bloody lust. Maybe that was dumb. To take devil precedent there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, health can become a little scarce on these characters. Damn, that was sad. So devil deals can be stupid. Sometimes it can be very bad. I miss the eraser, man. I'm like, can't I get rid of the hosts forever? No? Okay. Well, I can... Oh, I don't have any bombs. I can't get the secret room. I was gonna say, I can get the secret room. No, I can't. I don't have the one resource that I need to do that. Oh. The sketchiest dodges against the flies, but they're flies, so I managed to pull it out somehow. I also forgot to mention the music mod that I have. Okay, I hate these enemies. Oh, it didn't work on either of the enemies because one of them is a host and the other one was underground. Funny. I know there was a mod to make clumps, like, not as annoying. Um, I don't, ca like, care. Like, these mushroom guys are fine. I don't know why specifically the hosts are annoying. Um, like, I don't want to remove them from the game, but I also don't really want to play with them. That Jacob and Esau moment, totally there. Oh, okay. Well, you can see another stupid mod that I have. What do you think, Jacob or Esau? Pretty sick, huh? Jacob? Sure. Um, it's gonna be a little weird to be doing that and tears at the same time, but I'm okay with it. It's honestly probably better on this character than other characters. Now I just gotta not die in an embarrassing way, because I got a really good uh, 
item, so if I die, I will feel stupid. Uh, but it will also probably be funny, so, you know, whatever happens, happens. The same mod, yeah. I feel like most of the Isaac community, after a certain point, is we're just like one brain cell. We all share it, you know? Um, I want to visit the shop so I can get some use out of Mr. Me. I know he can do stuff outside of shops too, but I don't really know what. Maybe, can he still Devil Dance? I don't think he can, but I don't know. I, I have the teleport mod that everybody uses. The Terraria coins. Yeah, I was using the Lego coins uh, one for a little bit. I like the Terraria coins one too. Um, oh my god, Esau, you got stuck. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh. You, it's like babysitting a small child. He can steal devil deals? Okay, well, I'm glad I took devil precedent now. And even if it fails, I don't care. It's the, the potential for the free deals is good. So I'll try to have it charged when I go in there, but... Uh... It's nice to have somebody in chat who, like, knows how the game works. Um... I just, uh... Don't have to, like, have the wiki open on my other monitor, which is nice. Okay. Give me something cool. Oh! That is something cool. Uh... Okay. Yeah, can I have restock? Thank you. That's very sick. Um, now we have... Infinite Spirit Hearts? I think Humbling Bundle is also worth it, right? No, 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 I'm not saying that, um... Yeah, had the, well, the... Item description mod definitely helps to not have the wiki open, but I used to play with it on another tab, uh, just pretty much all the time. I, I feel like part of the reason I don't need it anymore is because I did that for such a long time. I'm sorry if, if you feel like I was calling you out. I was not. I, I just, I literally just meant, you know, It's cool. Oh, and now, since I got hit, I can't go in that room, and I don't have any bombs. There's the one tantalizing bomb that I can't access. I don't know why I thought that was the room exit. Alright, Esau, you're the one who gets hit for this this time. And we go back to a room we've already been in. Okay. I guess I could use the sun card to heal enough... To access that, I, I think I want to just... No, I do want to do that, because I'll use the sun, it'll heal both of my guys. It only healed one of my guys! Oh yeah, that makes sense. The battery, huh? Uh, you need the battery. No! Okay, I'll do it again. Still a good deal. Nice. I guess Esau can have that? Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, I was saying something about how I like this music, too. I don't know. People say either train of thought or stream of consciousness, but neither of those, like, really accurately reflects how disjointed and messed up my... Like, I think I want to take that as you. My, like, ability to... Speak. I just, I don't know. Oh, I wonder if Mr. Me could get the bomb from here. I don't know. I guess I'm not going to get any of those secret rooms or anything, because I, I can't... Yeah, I can't go in any of these. That's kind of sad. I have one cent, and there's not a lot you can do with one cent in this game. I, I did buy a uh, TM Trainer item for one cent. He opens the bars. Oh, that's actually sick. That's... I didn't know he... Wow. Mr. Me is like a much better item than I thought he was? Huh. And then we, we went from the caves uh, alt music to the Among Us music. So that's funny. Oh, I forgot I can't poopify you. I'm 
Sorry, Larry. Oh! Fake me out. And this is the one that fires tears when he breaks, too, so... Okay, well, I immediately lost the devil chance uh, on this floor, so that was clever of me, but... We have tech X, and I need to remember that. Um, it's good, and now we get bombs. Okay. I mean, it's not just good, it's, it's like the best. Mega Satan doors too, oh, huh. Oops. Oh yeah, you told me to go Mega Satan, whoops. I have not been operating on that at all. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to, um, do some sacrifice rooms and kill some angels if I want to, um, do that, but I think, oh god, this room is Jacob and Esau, I hate it. I will do that all day though. Yeah, I don't think I will have to do the sacrifice rooms if I can hang on to Mr. Me. Oh, spiders. It's like everything that is not usually that big of a deal is much scarier as this character. I'm gonna try to do spike walk. Oh, I have to. Huh? Oh, if I hold him still here, he doesn't stay still? That's awful. That's another interaction I somehow didn't know about. Charm of the Vampire. I don't know if I should put that on Jacob or Risa either. I feel like you're more likely to take damage. I'll give it to you. Uh, I'll take that for free. Why not? There's tinted rocks everywhere, huh? Oh no. Okay, well it's fine. We lived. I have to, like, think very hard to play this character sometimes. I will flush you guys. Absolutely. I feel like I haven't got, um... Mega Mush from a mushroom in like two years. So I will blow up mushrooms. Especially since I have the golden uh, bomb. Oh, well. Wow, dude. I had the golden bomb. I certainly don't anymore. This game is funny like that, I swear. As, as soon as. As soon as you expect something to stay. Yeah, I remember doing the, these unlocks was such a struggle the first time. Um, not as bad as Tainted Jacob, funnily enough. That character is definitely harder. And I, d I think I beat Tainted Jacob before they patched him and made him easier. I, I did get to do Laz after the patch, though. So that... I don't feel too bad about that. La Tainted Lazarus seemed, like, just super boring before they patched him. Oh, my voice is starting to go away. I'm gonna have to um, probably have this be the last run of the day, but I've been streaming for two hours, and you know what? I'm having fun. This has been a good day. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I saw the follower count tick up. I appreciate it. I don't know when it happened. I just saw it now. Nice. Definitely good use of a bomb there. Why don't you give me the battery? I would like that. Thank you. I will take it as you. Who cares about Ventricle Razor? Like 20 minutes ago? Oh yeah, I should drink water. Thank you. I should definitely remember to mute the mic first though. Whoopsie. I've only been streaming for a couple weeks here, so I'm still getting used to talking into a mic and, like, trying to avoid, like, popping the mic and peeking it and stuff. I, I had one stream, I beat uh, the entire game of Cuphead, like the main game, uh, in one sitting. 
and I was like, Th that stream was so much fun, it was so good, and I went and I watched the VOD, and I was peeking the mic the entire time. Like, literally, every four seconds the mic peaked. I was like, no, dude, what am I doing? <laughs> but it was a learning experience. Moldy bread. I'll give it to you, because I gave you Charm of the Vampire. Oh, that was scarier than it needed to be because of the way that my character lined up. I love these big bat enemies. They're funny. The fat bats. I like them. So there's enough hearts around that I think it would be worth it to go for this, right? I think both of my characters need to be at low health to go into the boss trap room. I have no idea what time it is for you. Uh, probably very late, would be my guess, if you're asking. Uh. I forgot I, I picked up Bloody Lust. Oh, well, I screwed that up, huh? The heart pickup. And we should have been doing this earlier, because at least I put Bloody Lust and Tech X on the same character. At least I have some sense, right? Yeah, both of them need to be at one heart. Yeah, see, because Esau's at one heart, but Jacob isn't, so... I mean, yeah, that seems like a worthy use of a bomb. I know you can technically get into those without using a bomb, but... I mean, I'm not good enough. You know what? We'll be brave today, and if it ends the run, it ends the run. But it should be pretty easy to fight a boss with fully lust, uh, bloody lusted up... Um... Sure, and I'll heal you up, I guess. Peep. You know, I feel like I take more damage to Peep than I should. Uh, on Right on cue, huh? I'm trying to uh, upload, like, YouTube shorts to promote the stream. Um, and I keep having moments like that where I'm just like... I say something and then it just immediately happens. You're a little annoying. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you the one that spawns spiders? Because if you are, I hate you. Okay, I have to pick that up with Esau right now, that way I don't die. And I will try to fill it up as soon as I can. I don't know why I just did not act like I had the, uh... Tech X at all there. This one is one soul heart. At worst, it's a soul heart, right? Sure. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to go deep enough to see anything else from that. I'll take the strength as Esau, I guess. And I'm just going to work on filling up that bone heart. Oh, very nice. I forgot I had those hearts here. This floor penned out pretty nice, I'll say. And I think I will actually take a three cent heart as you. Oh, I forgot I have restock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, do the albino thing. Let's see if I can actually pull it off. Oh, I screwed it up. Well, you're supposed to use the bombs to, to like, just smite the angel, but I... Oh. And there goes the angel fight, because I walked out of the room. I'm doing great, dude. Give me the money, sure. I'll take it. It doesn't even matter. I have restock, so I can buy all the red hearts I want. Um... Sure, that works. I'll donate a little money, too. What is this? Caves 2? I'll go down to 40? And we'll go to the next floor. Peep is annoying, right? I mean, everybody knows bloat sucks. But Peep is... Peep is also annoying. Oh, that worm wanted me. Oh, god! This... You're watching the Jacob and Esau experience. This is Nightmare Room. Well, at least I didn't lose the, uh... Bone Heart, I guess? Shit, man. I'm doing really bad dodges all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Oh, that 
works. Temperance. Temperance could be good. I have a strength and a devil. Nice, the Charm of the Vampire is doing good work. Hopefully I can just get enough heart containers on Esau. I should the next heart container I, I get I should put on Esau. Um I could have used that to try to blow up the secret room, but honestly. I would not bet that that really matters in the grand scheme. I would probably just get hurt trying. I have not been using flush nearly enough, but it also is not that impactful. I'm taking damage all over the place. Ooh, three nickels is nice. I have a ton of money. I do like the combo of Bloody Lust and um, Tech X. Oh, when did I lose the Bone Heart, dude? Okay, I'll leave that heart on the ground and maybe I can heal up from Charm of the Vampire. And then I won't have to... Oh, he's the poop creator! This is not a very common... Uh, Champion, huh? I haven't seen that guy in ages. I don't want that money that bad. There are a lot of things I'll do for money, but not that. Crowheart is cool, for sure. I think I'll take that as Esau, because that will just hurt me as Isaac, I think. Mystery gift. Yes, please. I forgot that I have, um... This guy? We'll use Mystery Gift on the Secret Room. And then probably take Glowing Hourglass, right? Okay, well, that's kind of dumb that he doesn't want to get that for me, but that's fine. Dude! The last time I used the gift in the Secret Room, it gave me the poop. Why? Why does everybody else get the sausage? And the arc- like, I would literally get rather get the socks than the poop, dude. That's annoying. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll take that, too. Oh, it only has three uses total? Oh, dude, when did they nerf that? I totally didn't know that they did that. Okay, I'll donate some money, I guess. That's really weird. I mean, I know Glowing Hourglass is good, but I wouldn't have thought that they would nerf it. Huh. Weird. I don't know. God, these enemies are messed up. They always throw me off. So, I have that Temperance card. I should honestly probably make use of that now. Now seems like a good time. Especially considering uh, Bloody Lust. Which we just maxed out. But I want to get another um, health up. I would love to get a blood bag here to give to Esau. I don't know. I'm, I'm playing like a little unnecessarily slow, but... Oh, we can go in the challenge room. I guess we'll do that now. But yeah, having the max damage on... Uh, Oh god. <laughs> Having the max damage on Jacob is really good here. Oh man, those ground spikes get me so often too. Charm of the Vampire is just carrying my ass. It's not a sentence that I say lightly, but it is healing me for a lot of damage. Give me five keys. For free. Very nice. Oh, and I lose the pedestal? When you use Mr. Me? I didn't realize that. I thought I thought the pedestal got to stay. That's a little silly. Oh, you said guess what time it is? Mr. Meat. Yeah. Oops, just walking right in there. Taking damage for no reason. Oh. We got the glowing hourglass though, so if I get like too dangerously close to death, any nightmare scenarios can be- oops, didn't mean to do that. 
Let's try to do this. What is Mr. Me gonna do? Are you gonna hit the boss? Yeah, he's trying. He's doing good work. I don't know, maybe that's us. I don't know. Ball of bandages, kind of who cares? Super who cares? Uh, false nine, you said, guess what time it was. I, I didn't guess, but um, you also didn't say. I have no clue what time it is. For me, it's just after five. Hmm. First room is probably worth it too. Okay, well not if I keep taking damage for no reason. Oh, these these this is the room that doesn't make bridges. Okay, sure. That's fine. Um let's health. Let's go to the cursed room and then we'll be on our way. Charm of the Vampire genuinely healing me for a lot. Six, what are you talking about just after? Oops, walked out as the wrong guy. Did I say just after? Oops, well, I'm stupid. Whatever. You should know this by now. I think right above the clock on my second monitor is the thing that says 60 FPS, so I think I was just... You know, just just seeing shapes and colors and, and reading what I see. I don't know, man. I say a lot of things when I'm streaming. I can't guarantee that all of them are like factual or like relevant or even really entertaining. I don't know. I'm just here. Yeah. How was it? Hope it didn't smell too bad. Um, was it the- I think uh, Jake had gone to one of those events, uh, not too long ago. Take that as Esau- whoa, what happened? No, it didn't smell bad, okay. No worries, False Nine, thanks for coming back, I appreciate it. Um... Oh my god, yeah, you got a ton of stuff, huh? I'm glad you're out there living living your life, man. That's that's great. Oh, these enemies are annoying. I have the classic rebirth uh, laser sound effect on, which is actually a little annoying sometimes, but I like it better than the really wet laser noise. So many freebies. Okay, that makes sense. Bag of crafting? Ugh. I mean, which, um... Which item do I take? Um, free items or free items? I guess free items, right? Oops. Uh, I want to keep that as you. Oh no, I have. I don't know. Our key moment? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The recipes are seated, so is is the recipe for our key or the recipes aren't seated anymore? Sorry. Is the recipe for our key like a well-known thing? Is it like all bone hearts? I don't know if I have the energy for an R key run. I get like Isaac'd out after a few hours. Um, really hard to do more than one Isaac run. Or more than like two, I guess. We did some TM trainers, silly. Get Mr. Me. I just, I like my, uh, I like my security blanket of the, uh, what am I doing picking up? Pennies. I should be putting them in the bag. Having the, uh... What do you call it? Oh, well, I'll definitely put the dime in the bag. That's a nickel. Words. Oh, because I hold Esau down and, and walk around as Jacob, I should really put the bag on Jacob, huh? Okay, well, that's actually a compelling reason. So I guess, fine, we'll lose the glowing hourglass. I'll take Mr. Me and put the bag as this guy. We'll roll the hourglass away. Are you happy? <laughs> it's Linger Bean. Uh, okay, here. There are things that I would like. 
Oh, it is kind of hard to do this bag of crafting nonsense as this character, huh? Oh god. I'm trying to use the um, item description mod for this is like kind of a nightmare. I can get a compass for two keys and three pennies? Oh, wrong button. Okay. <laughs> um, what did I have to lose for the pennies? Oh, did I just mess it up? I don't get to see what's in the bag. The mod tells me, though. I must have screwed something up. Well, this is this is why I don't do Tainted Cane. The bag of crafting does my head in, man. I guess I'll take a headless baby, huh? Compass gone? Not forgotten. Uh, I don't think I really want um that. Uh, what is it? The portable slot? I don't think I care. But... Oh, this room sucks. Oh, man. I might just die. Bonies are assholes. I do have infinite hearts here, actually, so I should be fine. I don't know. Do I care about the trinket smelter? It's fine. I'll... I don't, I'm not even carrying any trinkets between all of my characters. I'll take the pill bag, I guess, and we'll craft items with it. Oops, I made the portable slot. Well, that's fine. I literally don't have any trinkets to smell. Oh, I guess I do have another pill I can... Uh, holding, I can put in the bag. Sure. Every unlock in one run. I feel like that's a, such a common story. With this character. Okay, I need to go back and buy more hearts, of course. Um, yeah. You you can do silly stuff. Not this character, Tainted Cane. Sorry. I um. I mean, yeah. I basically did um greedier mode with all of the characters as Tainted Cane because um. I don't like greedier mode. <laughs> um. Not all of the characters. I, I Maybe there were two or three problem characters that I got. Okay. It's a pretty good excuse to visit the curse room. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll, I guess I'll clear the rest of the floor. I don't know. Clicker moment? Yeah. I mean, they patched it so that stuff doesn't work anymore, and I'm not even upset that I got to use it and abuse it. Well, it was good. Although I did crash my game a couple times by clicking into Tainted Isaac, uh, which I still don't know if they've patched, to be honest. It would be funny if they didn't. Um, it's just like you use the clicker into Tainted Isaac and you're, you're done. So, I don't know if I can get that rune with that bag. I don't think I can. Does your range stat affect it? Oh, sure. I'll take that. Nice. Okay, let's blow these up. I guess I could play one of them for a little bit. I didn't want trinkets. I wanted more consumables. god. It's a dollar. That's pretty rare. You don't see that very often. I mean, I guess I would like a little bit better trinkets, too. But putting Samson's lock on the character that doesn't have bloody lust is pretty cool, I guess. Sure. Really, all this run needs is just more health now. I might be able to craft that. I could craft an eraser. Um, or Bozo. I don't think I care. It's a world card? Hang on to it for now. <laughs> I 
I missed the clicker run already. Or not clicker run, what? The, the eraser run. Where I was just erasing everything. Sure, what does that do? I don't know. We, this is... This is the mom fight too, so... Um, I guess we'll be moving on. I should probably try to heal uh, Isao up before I fight the boss. If I had any sense. Oh god, this screen is so hard to decipher. I could put three red hearts in it and get the baby that... Yeah? Oh, okay. Well, three red hearts. Sure. One, two, three. Nice. Uh, sure. Um, then I can heal Esau up and put some more hearts in the bag. This is going about as well as I could hope for any Jacob and Esau run to go. I don't know. I got Tech X, so kind of riding that wave, but we're chilling. Hearts? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I, I did actually somehow manage to remember. I, I the uh, item reminder screen said like floor 10 hearts. I was like, where are there 10 hearts? And then I realized, oh right, the second secret room. Whoa, what knocked you around, buddy? Yeah, Tech X is doing so much help clearing the ads. Uh, the mom fight is really not any trouble with this setup that we've got. Multi-dimensional baby actually also usually increases your damage by like a, a noticeable amount, I would say. I don't know. Um, can I have both of these? Surely not. Oh, sick. Oh, thanks for the hydration reminder too. I appreciate it. I'll, you know what, I'll take another drink since you said I'm able to craft the second, um, a second what? I know I could go off the recipes that I already found, but I'm usually too stupid to actually do that. Unless it's like a really crazy recipe that's like easy, like a, a good thing. I would love meat. The recipe for meat is usually a good go. I definitely don't want Isaac's heart. Oh, the negative or the Polaroid? What a shitty challenge room. It's really not a very good reward for that. Oh, I walked on creep because I'm used to being able to walk on my own creep. Oh, it's really hard to tell whose creep is who. That's why I don't like Headless Baby. That item can get stuffed for that reason. Like, uh, and Vasculitis as well is another item I never take just because there's, it. like, I can't decipher which tiers are mine. And so I inevitably get hit because I think I'm fine. My damage is really not that good, even though I have Tech X. Oh, two blighted ovums. Okay. That's a little scary. I couldn't see the creep again. Let's take the health. Uh, I can get a speed ball. Which I guess. Esau take it? Take these keys for the road. And I guess the pill, since it does nothing for us. Ooh. I was gonna say, how did I not get hit? I did. Okay, Esau, do me a favor and don't ruin the, ruin the run by dying on us. Oops, I just took the bomb, that was dumb. Oh no, these guys. Okay, Tech X does kind of just handle it though, doesn't it? Oops, I keep just taking the pickups. What am I doing? Hi, Super Greed. Let's 
Super Greed is usually a little easier to dodge, and that's it. Well, if you're heading out, looks like I'm heading out. Uh, sorry I died, and you were going to look for the seed. But such is the fate of many a Jacob and Esau run. I had a good time. I'm sorry, I just I wasn't paying attention and I walked into something. It happens. But, um... Yeah, Falls9, thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll, I'll check your channel out, uh, in the interim, and I hope you uh, catch the next stream. Thanks, man. Have a good one.